In this video, I'll be showing you how to navigate to a different entity like custom page, table, view, new form, uh, and to an external website using the command bar. So this is the goal for the day. So we will be looking into each and every command over here. So just to explain you what it is, one is the first one is a bit different. It's not navigate, it's basically launch. So you open an external website. So when you click a button in the command bar, you open an external website. So this is one. Second is within a power pages, uh, power apps, if you have a custom page created, then you can navigate to that custom page on the click of a button. Uh, third one is you navigate to the table. So the first uh, uh, view uh, for that specific table, you will be navigated into. Second is you can navigate to a specific view. So you can actually specify which view you want to navigate to. Uh, and then the fifth one is navigate to a new form. So if you want to uh, create a new record, so how the form gets opened with all the blank records. So you can do that, navigate to new form. And the last one is navigate with patch. So it's same as new form, but then you will have predefined record or like some values which have been automatically populated so we'll be going through this <clears throat> so i'll cover in batches so let me first cover four items at once and then we will go to navigate a new form and navigate with patch in the second uh, publish right so just to give you a context now this is power apps and within power apps i have created an application a model driven app named as aussie resources now aussie resources basically points to a mineral table Mineral table has a list of minerals, atomic number, uh, and other details related to mines. Now, if you see the application, this application looks something like this. On the left-hand side, I have a minerals table, listing of minerals. I can navigate to the minerals, and then I can do some actions. Now, other than that, I have a couple of custom pages created, like plutonium and gold. So this is a custom page. Uh, then there are predefined tables like accounts and contacts, which are readily available as a part of Dataverse. So this is the context. Uh, so let's uh, create a button. So now this is a grid view. Now what I will do is like I will create a button within a form. So if you navigate inside a form, you will see some buttons over here. And on the basis of that button, you just execute that action. Okay, to start with, first one. Uh, I have this model driven app. What I've done, I've clicked on edit, edit the model driven app. Once the model driven app is in an edit mode, I've gone here <clears throat> in the mineral uh, view uh, and in the edit command bar, I clicked on edit and then in edit, I clicked on main form. Okay. Now, once you are in the main form, you will see something like this over here, right? So here we are going to create first button and we'll say launch a website. Okay. So here, uh, how to do that you just say if you want to launch google so you can specify use icon and then i'll say web or maybe globe if there's anything a circle or something like that let me see uh, let me pick any uh, <coughs> icon and i'll say and then click on open formula and then the command is basically to use launch okay so launch, you need to specify what is the URL. So give a proper uh, URL. So HTTPS colon slash slash google.com. And once you do that, that's it. So this is how you basically uh, click on a button and then it will open an external website. So that was the first item. Then navigate to custom page. So I have a custom page. Uh, which I showed you named as a plutonium. Okay, if I want people to navigate to that specific custom page, how can I do that? Uh, so here, uh, I'm again back here, I'll create a new command. And I'll say, just type in plutonium. I, I can use any icon. Uh, so let me just I can either use an icon or maybe I'll just put some emoji over here. So I'll just put this icon over here and i'll open a formula and then on select of this i will say uh, now instead of launch you just say navigate so navigate and what is the custom page name so i have created this custom page named as plutonium so if i type in the custom page name it will come so you need not type the internal name of that custom page so custom page name is plutonium i have an another custom page named as gold 
so we can pick that as well but in this case i'll just pick on plutonium and that's it put a semicolon that's it this is how you uh, navigate to that external custom page third one is navigate to a table so if i want to navigate to a contact record so i'll click on new command and i'll just say put some icon this icon and i'll say contact and open formula bar and i'll just say navigate open formula bar select this navigate and call the table name so the table name is basically contact right now as you see over here you do not see the contact table now why because you are in an uh, basically in the context of a mineral table right so this contact is an external table so you cannot technically reference that right over here okay so that's fine what we can do over here is we can uh, open the component library so if i click on open component library i click on save so what it will do it will open this the same interface in a component library so in component library you get an option to select multiple data source now the interface which we are in currently is pointing to minerals main form so you get access to only to the uh, the table named as minerals but if you want to query other data sources then you need to click on open component library and then from that point onwards you can uh, select multiple data source now i've already added a couple of data sources in my component library but in case if it is not there in your component library you can go ahead and add those custom tables or predefined tables so you can add anything over there and then you can make a reference to that specific table okay so this is how you basically uh, reference the table now it might take some time for this interface to load up because it is again provisioning the command library and once you are in this interface make sure that you navigate to the correct item okay now here it is selecting copy mineral okay but that's not what where we were we were somewhere here in contact so click on contact over here and then from here we can write a command now here we can write a command navigate and we can type in contact right now as you see over here we are not able to see the contact table right now what we can do we can click on plus here and we can add uh not sorry not on plus but on the data source over here and here we have accounts we have users we have minerals now here we can add one more data source called as contact so contacts i've added this contacts data source and it will load this contact data source. And now if I just type in contacts, now it has come, right? So like that, you can navigate to the contacts data source. Okay, so that's about navigating to a table. <clears throat> now let's navigate to view. Now what I want is I'll create a button uh, which will navigate to accounts, okay? view inactive accounts view now here if the accounts is not visible you can go ahead and add the data and you can add accounts i have already added accounts okay so i'll just click on save i'll click on publish so once it is saved uh, you can click on publish and then this information will be published so you just publish this version now remember when you you are in the command library right now you have already published so i've already published over here now once you come back it says resume editing in command designer so once you have finished editing the component library click resume and we will check for any changes we need to update so i'll click on resume and then it will start picking up the information which you have put in the command uh, the component library and it will start populating the information over here so just to give you a summary what we have done we have navigated to an external website we have navigated to a custom page we have navigated to a table and now we are looking into navigating to a view okay now the view will be uh i'll click on override and the view would be basically 
accounts in active view so if i go to accounts if i navigate to accounts my active accounts active accounts and inactive accounts so i want to navigate to inactive accounts view so for that let me uh, click on couple of companies and deactivate it so that i can see the record in inactivate account so i'll click on deactivate and if i go to deactivate or inactive accounts i'll see one record right so the goal is to come to this view okay coming back here uh, i can uh, i'll click on new command and i'll say inactive accounts inactive accounts and i'll put a some logo i'll just put cancel over here and that's it and here how i can access the view is i'll just type in again same command navigate uh, and then i want an inactive accounts view now accounts is already there that's why i can see the uh, listing over here but uh from an accounts perspective i want to view right so i'll click on accounts views and which view dot and then there are all other views listed over here so i'll pick up inactive accounts right and semicolon so what we have done we have done this four uh, publish uh, four uh, button changes launch external website launch power pages uh, power uh, custom pages uh, launch the contact table and launch the specific view click on save and publish it might take some time for this publish to happen but we can talk about other things okay now let it publish okay i'll just close this window and let it publish okay now this one navigate to new form and navigate with patch now what does what do i mean by this is like what i want is once this application loads up uh on a click of a button i want a new form of a specific table to be opened say mineral form okay so if i click on a button it is equivalent to new button so whatever you see in the model driven app the plus new button now if i want to replicate that this is going to this we are going to replicate navigate to new form second one is navigate with patch this means same we will replicate new form but with predefined record okay so let's play this app let's see what all changes we have made whether it is working fine or not so i'll go into one of the records so let me go into say gold now once the changes are being published uh, it might take some time as you see over here this page is taking a while to load and the command button uh, uh, does not have the changes which we have published so you may need to do a couple of uh, hard refresh and once you do that hard refresh you should be able to uh, see those changes so as i see over here like the button has come so the first one what we did is we uh, we have created a button and this will open an external website so if i click over here launch google then it is opening a new tab google.com and that's what we wanted right so it is opening an external website coming here plutonium it should navigate us to this custom page now if i click here plutonium it is navigating us to this custom page again going back to the minerals going back to gold third one contact i want a contact table to be opened okay so if i click contact it will open the contact table now remember contact is an external table now we have created command bar on basis of minerals table what we have done we have gone into the component library and added those uh, similarly if we go down here we click on inactive accounts we will be navigated to an accounts and inactive accounts view so this is what we have accomplished now the uh, couple of things to make note of now we need to add a couple of commands so i'll click on new command and i'll say uh, say new mineral okay new mineral and i'll just use an icon uh, add so new mineral add so if i want to add a new uh, mineral i will use this and i will open the command bar and here i need to say navigate and then how do i reference a specific record okay so if i want to reference a specific record with regards to uh, the new form what i will say i'll say defaults and 
you can open anything accounts contacts minerals users so because these are the four data sets which are connected to my component library so i'll say i want to open new minerals okay now that's it this is the command okay so you can open new mineral now uh this new mineral is like the one which we have created now i have a couple of other options as well so in order to just um, be look different i'll just say plus new dash mineral because this is what the naming convention is for new minerals uh, also what i want is like if, if someone clicks on new some of the records should be automatically filled okay so that's also simple what we can do we can make use of a patch command okay so how do we, how do we do that you click on new new command and i'll say new mineral uh, filled okay and i'll make use of some icon over here i'll just put any icon okay just to distinguish it so new minerals filled here open command bar and now what we need to do is like we need to fill first something with okay so the command basically is like this so navigate so navigate and you put a semicolon and i'll just put something over here now what we need to do we need to patch it right so patch now for a new record to appear we need to use default so defaults of the table which you want so i'll say minerals okay so once you say patch default minerals just put a curly brace put a curly brace and then close that navigate button that way okay so now this is where we need to write a command now here i will just type in minerals and i can put in various by default uh, entries okay so i have this mineral description minerals uh, the name of the mineral so i can put and say the name of the mineral what i want is by default is uh, created from shell okay so created from shell so this is the by default name i want uh, also uh, i have one more drop down which is named as importance okay so i want importance to be uh, let me see what i have in importance so in importance drop down i have abundantly available not filled rare find restricted sales so i'll put say restricted sales so this is just like one use case you can pick up any column so i've selected a couple of columns over here and i'll close this brace over here uh, okay we need not close the brace because this is already there and this is how you basically write this command okay so what we have done we have used navigate patch default minerals and then we said that the name of the minerals should be created from shell and maybe let's put some star over here importance importance minerals dot restricted sale so what we want is by default the minerals should be populated and then the importance should be come to restricted sale right uh, so let me discard the change go over here and close this up okay so we just close the curly brace we just close it put a semicolon and that's it so i'll just remove this part over here and just remove this so this is how you basically write a patch command uh, and i want to put one more bracket over here put a semicolon and that's it so i'll click on save and publish so what we have done is just to recap we have now executed uh, we will be executing two commands uh, navigate to new form whereby a new form will be opened uh, with a blank entry which which will have the default entries which is already available as a part of dataverse uh, uh, column set uh, also we will create an another we have created another button with navigate with patch so it will again open a new form but this time with a filled record now the filled record which we have selected is uh, the minerals column with a populated value of created from shell and importance drop down to be restricted sale i'll click on play and i'll navigate to one of the minerals say gold so once it is published it will take some time as you see over here like the message is gone that uh, the publishing is completed successfully uh, here i'll click on one of the mineral and as you see over here i said new dash mineral so if i click on new dash mineral a new form is opened 
right this is what we want like the other fields which you see over here is like by default you know the by default value is getting populated for that field so that means you have successfully opened new dash mineral now other thing what we want is like if you navigate to any of the mineral if i click on new min field then new form should open and at the same time some of the value should be auto populated so if i click on new min field then as you see over here importance restricted sale is automatically populated now i'm not sure why the minerals uh, section is not populated uh, i need to check that but then this is how you basically use this command to uh, automatically populate the values within a specific field so that's it folks this is how you basically use the navigate function in command bar thanks for watching